Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on applications of quadratic equations. Okay, for this first one, it says a ball is thrown across a playing field from a height of five feet. Um, and the following model represents the path of the ball. It says at what horizontal distance will X is the ball seven feet high? If we look in our graph, seven feet is about here. And if we think of seven being about here, we can see that we're really looking for two solutions. It'll hit seven on the way up and seven on the way down. So what I'm gonna do, honestly, what I'm gonna do because 20 is a factor, is a terminating decimal. It, twos and fives don't repeat. This negative 32 divided by 20 squared is equal to negative zero 0 0.08. And I'm going to use that instead of the fraction. It's easier when I'm plugging things into my calculator. Okay, so I want to know when is negative 0 0.08 x squared plus x plus 5 equal to 7. Move this 7 over. Negative 0 0.08 x squared plus x minus 2 equal to 0. I could solve that by factoring. I know this because I've solved it and I found a nice answer. But with a number like 0 0.08, I don't usually think of factoring right, right away. I think of the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, so I'm going to say x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4a is negative 0 0.08 c is negative 2 all over 2a, which is 2 times negative 0 0.08. All right, so I plugged all of this into my calculator, once for the negative, once for the positive. The two answers I got were 10 and 2.5. Because of the negative a, you get the answers backwards. So it reaches 7 feet at 2.5 seconds. Oh, sorry, it's distance at 2.5 feet. And 10 feet. So you throw the ball and when it's 2.5 feet away from you, it's hitting seven feet and it continues to go up. And then when it gets to be 10 feet away from you, it's hitting that seven feet again. Okay, it says, does the ball reach nine feet? In this graph, it doesn't look like it. But the way we can determine if the ball reaches a height of nine feet is we need to determine if the piece under the uh, square root, the determinant, the b squared minus 4ac is positive or zero. If it's positive or zero, we reach nine feet. If it's negative, then we have a square root of a negative, which is not valid for a real world situation, which means we don't hit nine feet. So if I take negative 0.08 x squared plus x plus five and set it equal to nine, subtract the nine over so that I have negative 0.08 x squared plus x minus four equals zero, I now test b squared minus four ac. B squared is 1 squared minus 4 times negative 0 0.08, that's A. C is a negative 4. And if I throw that into my calculator, I get that that is equal to negative 0 0.28. It's negative, which means no, it will not reach a height of 9 feet. All right, it says at what horizontal distance does the ball hit the ground? Well, it hits the ground when the height is 0. So I want to set negative 0 0.08 x squared plus x plus five equal to zero. And then again, I'm gonna use the quadratic formula. I'm gonna say x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four a c all over two a. And when I put this into my calculator, I'm going to get the answers x 
equals negative 3.8 and 16.3 feet. Now, this makes sense because if we look at our graph, we're starting at five feet and going up, which means if we could take the exact same trajectory and go back in time, we would hit the ground, but that's not how the real world works. But at 16.3 feet, we're on the ground. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.